ask a rhetorical question and get a hungry prospect. Three weeks ago, I did a video on options, and I kind of wanted to give you a little bit more of a visual representation. So if you want to see the original video, just do a search for options, and it should pull up. Uh, here's a quick story. Uh, it's actually about three days ago, we had dinner with Jerry Scribner, and he took the Quick Start Guidebook, and he customized a, a text message that he could use about giving people options. So he was doing a training, he's sharing the story, he's doing a training, he said, how many people need more customers? Of course, everybody raised their hand. No one says, oh my gosh, I have way too many customers. Um, no, he ne everybody needed more customers. He said, grab your phone and te text out this to somebody you haven't talked to before about our service. And he's with an electricity company. So it's, he texts, he said, uh, text out this message, do you get an electric bill? So obviously that's a rhetorical question. Nobody says, oh my goodness, no, I don't, I don't pay my bills, no. Or I don't get bills, I should say. Um, so he asked, you know, do you get an electric bill? He says, when they reply, simply ask, or simply ask him the next question. Would, it, would you like an option to pay a lower rate? Or you know, would it be okay if you had the option to pay a lower rate? If you had an option to pay a lower rate? However you wanna phrase it, it's really about answering that rhetorical question. So what if you're in a, uh, a weight loss or a diet uh, company? Ask a rhetorical question. So this is them right now. It's like, do you still diet or are you between diets? Every single person, 99% of them will say yes. That's just how they are. Uh, uh, yes, I still diet or most importantly, I'm probably between diets because it's February and uh, January is out the window for New Year's resolutions. So do you still diet? Yes. Would it be okay if you had an easier option to lose weight? So you're really just giving them the option. You're not pushing it on them. It's like, oh, this is where you are. Here's an, here's an easier option. That's really all it is. So you can go for opportunity. Do you still have a mortgage? Do you still have a car payment? Do you still have credit card bills? Uh, whatever you feel comfortable saying. So this is them right now. And if they say, of course, they're going to text back, you know, yes. Um, would it be okay if you had an option to pay it off quicker? Just giving them the option doesn't really matter. Um, and it's so much easier than trying to give them you know, more, 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 and they're gonna be like, back, 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 back. Um, so for uh, nutrition, essential oils, always talk about the stress option. You know, do you get daily stress? Do you get weekly stress? Uh, are your kids stressing you out? Is your job stressing you out? However you wanna ask that rhetorical question is, the reply is, would it be okay if you got rid of it? Like, it, it's not you, it's not them. It, it's, it's just the option to get rid of their stress. So really just ask a rhetorical question about your product service or opportunity. And of course, when they apply it, give them the option to take care of it. Of course, you can always like, comment, share this video, but most importantly, create a rhetorical question. Text it out. Or if it's in person, even ask people. Whatever's easiest for you, just do something today. And then of course, when they apply, give them the option to get rid of it. We'll catch everybody on the next Tip Tuesday or on an upcoming Zoom or Masterclass. Have a wonderful day giving people options.